Today, I'm with, can you introduce yourself? Jamie Barks. And what do you do? I do a lot of things, but I am a painter, and I paint uh, landscapes and sometimes buildings primarily. Okay. If you visit the public library, you will see Jamie Barks work in the gallery downstairs. On these. And so, you like landscape. I do. And it's over there. Yes, I do the wall. And look at those up right there. Are these similar to what the the pieces that you have at the library? Um, they're all done on paper, and okay. then I, I tend to mount them onto wood block. I, I like watercolor painting mm -hmm. is my favorite, but I work with acrylics and I treat them like watercolor, which is a sort of strange process. So can you show us how you mix? Sure. Okay. I'm working on some trees. This is a commission I'm doing for a friend. And I want green. And so I actually went ahead and I'm using three colors. And I do this a lot. So I have a dark, a light, a light, a dark, light, and a mid-tone. And I like to leave them where you don't mix it entirely. Because mm -hmm. it kind of gives it more texture. So I just I get a lot of water. And then I just start mixing. And it's super um, random. Mm -hmm. and messy. So if you're like a very neat and orderly person, like my husband, this makes you absolutely <laughs> insane. He cannot watch me paint. It makes him crazy. Um, but there's no, uh, there's no rhyme to it. I kind of like to just see what it does on paper. And, and that's the fun of acrylic paint. And why I use it more than watercolor is because if I make a mistake, I tend to be able to correct them. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't, I like, that's how I kind of like to work with my paint is I like to mix the different shades of like colors together instead of doing like you could mix your own green but I prefer to move from a tube and then kind of use three different hues to get what I would like. A lot of times I do the same thing with the dark if that's the way that I'm going to go. And this is good because we notice outside that trees have leaves that are all different colors. Yes and that's why I like in nature nothing is symmetrical and I think that's what a lot of times happens and I see it in like paintings and stuff is you want your tendency is to make it very best so that your tree has the same number of limbs on each side, but if you take a look outside, it's not nothing ever way. lines up. Yeah. And the same is true of the colors. They're never all the same one, like you said, one color. You have lots of different shades working within a piece. Especially this time of year, because... Yes, I'm so excited for fall. Yes. I noticed at the library that um, you paint things that are in our city. Do. I I like to be I'm, I love to be outside. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite my favorite thing. And wherever that is, if it's in the mountains or in town, and so I like to kind of be inspired by the world around. And so I took kind of the last six months, and I have painted a lot of pictures and then a lot of sketches all over Cleveland uh, because that's where I live and where I'm out riding my bike or running. And so I've kind of been using that as my inspiration. And so this is kind of, this is like a base layer. So this actual, like, I'll probably come on like two or three more times before this painting is done and add different coats of, of leaves and kind of fill it all in more. And this will have some little birds in it for the friend. She wanted some birds. Uh, and eventually. will you mount this on? Yes, it'll be You'll... mounted the same as that, like onto the wood panels. Um, I like to paint on my paper loose because I use water a lot. And this mm -hmm. way you can like make your water swoosh around. Oh. So like, I don't know, like I like to make it run. So like if you, you can do this if it's not mounted. That's why I do it backwards. It's a little bit different, but. That is cool. So. Just... And it creates, um, it creates something in the, in the painting. Yeah. So you get a weird, and you get that natural kind of drip lines. And I like the way that paint moves on paper and. This is not, um, you have to be able to be okay with not controlling it very much, which can be a little hard at times. So you like watercolors, but I heard you say you sketch. I sketch a lot. I use mm -hmm. a, a paint. This is acrylic paint, and I use that a lot. And then I sketch. I don't have any of my sketchbooks down here. They're all upstairs. But these are my watercolor paints. And this is what I take with me. And I usually have these with me some in some form or fashion at all times. And I do it with pen and ink and watercolor. 
So like my Cleveland paintings, most of those, I did a pen and ink watercolor mm -hmm. before I did the full painting. So okay. I would go, because you can do that on location. So this is kind of hard to go sit up on the sidewalk. Right. But I can, <laughs> yeah. I can take my little bag and go sit on the sidewalk and draw a picture from real life really quick in my sketchbook in like 15 minutes. To, and that kind of gives you a little bit different feel than just trying to work off of a photograph. Very good. This block right here, is this something like what you'll... Mm -mm. That's what these will actually. That's what this will go on. Oh, is the wood block? Yeah. This is fabulous. Thing. Okay, so. Oh, this one. Yeah. Here, that's Ron Tucker. Do you remember? Oh yeah, Poppy. I took a class. Yeah, it was with an abstract artist. Yeah, he did an abstract seminar, and so I went and took. Which is not true abstraction because it kind of has flowers, but that's mm -hmm. what came out. So I kind of love it. And so this is what you did at a poppy I did. seminar. That's why it's, I love that piece, but it's not really in my style necessarily. Mm -hmm. But I think it's always good to try to branch out. That's a good life lesson. <laughs> you know, do things that are outside of your comfort zone. Even if you never go back and do them again, at least try them once and kind of play around and you get ideas. But yeah, that's my abstract painting seminar class that I took. And parents, that's for you and for your little friends. Yes, that's for parents. <laughs> yeah, that was, your, that was your nugget there. Do different things. Yeah. So, how long will you be at the library? I think you're... Through the October 20th, uh -huh. I think. Something All right. like that, through most of October. And then they're going, I'll be at the Art Fest at the museum. Okay, I want to buy um, a Jamie Barks original. How do I find you? JamieBarks.com. All right. A website and you can stalk me online. I'm on <laughs> the interwebs. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs>